Dear students, under the topic Euler equation, here we are going to see problems on second order homogeneous Euler equation, second order non-homogeneous Euler equation and higher order Euler equation. So we shall find the solutions of these Euler equations by using the prescribed method that is the second order homogeneous Euler equation is given by x square y double dash plus axy dash plus by is equal to 0. After identifying the problem, we have to first write the initial polynomial of the equation which is given by q of r is equal to r multiplied with r minus 1 plus a r plus b. Now, when we equate this initial polynomial to 0, we get two roots because the equation is a quadratic equation and so we get two roots. So, here we have different cases where first, if the roots are distinct, that is, when r1 is not equal to r2, the solutions will be phi1 of x equal to x power r1 and phi2 of x will be equal to x power r2. And putting together, we get the general solution phi of x is equal to c1 x power r1 plus c2 x to the power r2. In another case, when r1 is equal to r2, that is when the two roots are equal, then the solutions are given by phi1 of x is equal to x power r1 and phi2 of x is equal to x power r1 log x. In general, we are representing the root as r1 and these two are the solutions and the general solution will be phi of x equals c1 x power r1 plus c2 x power r1 log x. Or these two we have already proved in a theorem which I have already uploaded. You may look into that theorem and understand it better. Now, if the roots are imaginary roots, that is if it is of the form alpha plus or minus i beta, so with uh, gen the solutions will be phi1 of x equal to x power alpha cos beta log x and phi2 of x will be equal to x power alpha sin beta log x. In general, we can write phi of x is equal to x power alpha multiplied with c1 cos beta log x plus c2 sin beta log x. In this case, we can also write the solutions as phi1 of x is equal to x to the power alpha plus i beta and another solution phi2 of x is equal to x to the power alpha minus i beta. We can put in either uh, ways. The solutions can be this or this. In this case, the general solution phi of x will be equal to c1 x power alpha plus i beta plus c2 x power alpha minus i beta. Now we shall solve problems on this topic. So the first problem that we are going to solve on this topic is find all the solutions of the Euler equation for x greater than 0. Now first we have to identify what kind of Euler equation is this? First of all, it is a second order Euler equation. Yes. And secondly, it is a homogeneous Euler equation because the right side is 0. So for such an equation, first step is we have to write the initial polynomial of this equation. We know that the initial polynomial Q of R is given by r multiplied with r minus 1 plus a r plus b. Just now we learnt about it. So the initial polynomial q of r is equal to 0 will be r multiplied with r minus 1 plus the value of a. So when we compare this with the general Euler equation that is we know that it is x squared y double dash plus a x y dash plus b y is equal to 0. So when we compare the given equation with the Euler equation, we find that the value of a is equal to 2 and the value of b is equal to negative 6. So b is equal to negative 6. 
so these are the values of a and b so we have to substitute that here in the initial polynomial so a r so it will be plus 2 r plus b so here we have negative 6 so negative 6 is equal to 0 now we shall simplify this equation and solve for r uh, the i mean uh, the values of r so it will be r square minus r plus 2 r minus 6 is equal to 0 and so we get r square um, minus r plus r will be plus uh, plus 2 r will be r plus r minus 6 is equal to 0 now we can use hill method and we can factorize this so we have to factorize the I mean, uh, minus 6 we have to write the factors the factors are 3 and 2 and uh, here we have a positive sign so 3 minus 2 will give us plus r and so the uh, it will be like r plus 3 multiplied with r minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore the values of r is equal to minus 3 and 2 so these are the values of r we observe that the values of r are distinct so r1 is equal to minus 3 and r2 is equal to 2 so we know that if r1 is not equal to r2 then we have phi1 of x to be equal to x power r1 and phi2 of x to be equal to x power r2 so therefore using these values of r1 and r2 we get phi1 of x to be equal to x to the power negative 3 and phi2 of x is equal to x square and the most general solution will be phi of x which is equal to c1 phi1 of x plus c2 phi2 of x so we will have c1 x to the power negative 3 plus c2 x square for all values of x greater than 0 and where the c1 and c2 are constants so these are constants yes and uh, this can be rewritten as phi of x is equal to c1 and this x power minus 3 can be written as uh, x cube in the denominator plus c2 x square so this is the solution of the given Euler equation in our next video we shall learn the problems of the same type and also the problems where the roots will be equal and also imaginary so uh, kindly follow the next video thank you